Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to my monthly feature, One Kit, Ten Cards. Today we'll take a quick look on what's inside the June card kit. So you get two ink pads, you also get these uh, swatches of watercolor that you can activate if you use a water brush. You get a beautiful stamp set full of uh, flowers and it's uh, wedding themed. You also get this beautiful pearlescent envelope as well as uh, lots and lots of uh, pattern papers. These are double sided pattern papers. So I'm just flipping them through so you see what's inside. And finally you will get some cardstock. Now you will get three different colors of cardstock. And one of them, the super white one, is a watercolor paper. And in order to create 10 card bases, I'm going to add in this kit two more white papers and I will keep the watercolor paper for creating my cards. So here I have a panel of that watercolor paper and I'm going to uh, prepare the surface with my powder and I'm going to stamp the big flower arrangement with Versamark ink. I have applied my embossing powder, I'm going to heat set it and my image is ready to color. You can't see anything because it's white on white but uh, I am going to use a water brush that has water in the barrel and I'm going to uh, slowly start coloring my image. As you can see I'm using the watercolor swatches that were included in the kit. I'm just uh, touching the tip of uh, my brush on uh, those uh, swatches and then coloring in my image. I just have to make sure to tilt my paper a little bit so that I can catch the light and see where all those images are. But once uh, I color everything you will be able to see what's there. And here is my watercolor paper ready to go. You can leave it as it is and stick it on top of a a card base and you have a beautiful card as it is but instead I'm going to add a little bit of dimension so I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to go all around that uh, image leaving a white border and then I will have a nice embellishment for my card. Now I'm going to chop off a little bit from the bottom and then I'm going to stick that on top of my card at the very bottom with some foam tape at the back. So I have a little bit of dimension and all that's left to do is to stamp congratulations. This is again one of the sentiments from the same stamp set. I'm going to pick that up and stamp it at the top of my card and this time I'm going to uh, stamp again with the Versamark but I am going to emboss it with gold embossing powder. This is a very clean and simple looking design but I always like to go simple when it goes to wedding cards especially since I want uh, to have that elegant look. So I'm just going to hit set my sentiment and my card is ready. And now let's move on to the second card. For that I am using, I'm working on a piece of uh, pattern paper. This is actually a pattern paper in pink that was included in the kit. And I am stamping uh, again the flower arrangement on the bottom of that panel. Uh, by the way, this is a rectangle that is slightly smaller than a standard card. So when I stick it on top of a card, it's going to leave a white border. I'm going to emboss it and this time instead of using uh, white embossing powder I am using vanilla embossing powder to match the cardstock that I am planning to stick that panel onto. Now I have grabbed this uh, pattern paper that is uh, full of uh, words. These are all words about wetting. I'm going to, to stick a strip of uh, that uh, paper at the bottom of my panel. Again, I am going for a very elegant and soft looking card for weddings. Now, this is where I am going to make sure that this is slightly smaller than a standard card. So, I am going to cut it to size. Then, I am going to place it on top of uh, this cardstock that I have already prepared by using some foam tape at the back. And now for the finishing touches, I am using my shimmer pen and adding some shine on uh, different parts of the flowers. And then I am going to use my white Nouveau drops and add some dots here and there. And the truth is that this flower arrangement can be used again and again in so many different ways. So we will move on to the next card where I will be embossing this flower arrangement again, but uh, in gold this time. So I'm working on uh, directly on top of uh, the black uh, card base. And this is going to be a totally flat uh, card, unlike uh, what I usually do. 
So I'm applying the gold embossing powder and then I'm going to use my heat gun and heat set everything. And to make my card a touch more interesting, I'm going to chop off the bottom of uh, my card base. And I have this pad by Tim Holtz that has silver and golden foiled cardstock. I'm going to cut out a piece out of the golden one and I'm going to stick it on the inside of my card. I have applied some tape adhesive at the back of my golden strip and I have uh, uh, stick it down on the inside of my card. I am using my scissors to cut off the excess and uh, you can see that now I have a matching uh, golden strip that uh, matches perfectly the flower arrangement on the top of my card. Now all that's left to do is to stamp the sentiment and again I am going with the word congratulations which I am going to stamp at the very bottom of my card front. Again, I am going to stamp with Versamark ink, apply gold embossing powder. This is the exact uh, same embossing powder as the uh, one that I used for the flower. I'm going to heat set it and my card is ready. And let's move on to the fourth card for today. I am working on a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to stick that uh, strip of uh, master, uh, masking paper towards the bottom of uh, my panel. Now I'm going to stamp on top and at the bottom of this uh, masking tape which is going to make sure that I have a space on top of my panel where I will stamp the, sen the sentiment later on. So I'm going to stamp everything with Toxido Black Ink by Memento because I am planning to use my alcohol markers to color everything. As you can see I need to stamp uh, more than once just to get a nice impression. Now for the bottom of my panel I'm going to stamp uh, this leaf a few times as well as uh, some of the flowers that are included in the stamp set. And once I am happy with how the bottom is looking I'm going to peel off uh, that masking tape and you see the reveal. Now I am going to stamp the sentiment just in the middle of that image and again I am going with congratulations which I am going to stamp with black ink again. So now my panel is ready to go, all I have to do is color it. I am going to use my alcohol markers and in particular I am using the greens from the Alte New marker set. I, these are my favorite colors for coloring leaves. And then I will continue color to color everything and you can see here how everything is looking once it's finished. I'm going to add some details with my white gel pen, just adding some dots at the center of my flowers. And then you can finish here and stick this panel on top of your card base. But I want to take it a step further so I'm going to use my craft knife and go all around the big, flower, uh, the big leaves. And uh, this is going to add some added dimension. I'm not going to cut them off completely. I just want to add some slits so I can lift them up. So you will see how they pop up a little bit. And I will uh, repeat this for all the larger leaves. Once I finish cutting out all those leaves and popping them up, I'm going to use my foam tape and add a lot of uh, foam tape at the back, making sure that I don't add any at the back of those raised leaves. And then I am ready to stick that panel on top of my card base. And this, is, this design is quite versatile, so just uh, change the sentiment that you have a birthday card or a hello card or a thank you card. Anything goes. And now let's move on to the next card. For this one again I am working on a watercolor paper and um, I have cut it down to size that's uh, slightly smaller than the standard card and I'm going to stamp with uh, the Simon Says Stamp ink pad that was included in the kit. I'm going to stamp the flower arrangement once at the top of uh, my panel and another one at the bottom. The ink that I am using is not very vibrant which is going to give the look of uh, no line watercoloring. So now I hope that you can see I have stamped the two opposite corners of my panel and now I'm going to add some color by using my Tombows. And I have actually used this uh, flower arrangement stamp seven times in the ten cards that I am showing you today. So it's a kind of a challenge of how many cards can you make with one stamp set. Anyway, I am uh, going to continue coloring. 
So here is how my image is looking after coloring everything and I want to add some uh, finishing touches and for that I'm going to add some splashes. So again I'm using the same uh, Tombow markers but I have watered them down and now I'm doing splashes with the pink and I will add some of them with the yellow. And instead of making another wedding card I decided to go with a thank you sentiment that was in the stamp set which I am going to stamp at the center of my panel. I'm adding some tape adhesive at the back of my panel and then I'm going to stick it on top of my pink card base. And now let's move on to the sixth card for today. Now I'm going to stamp the bigger and the smaller flower from the stamp set and I'm stamping it many times. I will not end up uh, using all those flowers and all those leaves that I'm stamping but uh, the idea was to color everything and create my own flower arrangement and I didn't know at this point how many of those flowers and leaves I'm going to need. And for the cards that I made today, I used embossing, I used uh, watercoloring, I used coloring with my alcohol markers, my Tombow markers, and uh, this is where I decided to bring in my distress inks. So I am using a finger dabber and I am going to color everything with my finger dabbers and my distress inks. I am not using the distress uh, oxide ink that is included in the kit. I will use that in the card that I will make later on. I'm adding dots at the center of my flowers, you know I love this detail, so I'm using my white gel pen to do so. And for this card I'm going for a window card, so I have used a small uh, circle die to cut out a piece out of this panel. And the panel, by the way, is made out of uh, pattern paper that was in the kit. So now with my pencil I'm going to draw a line just inside that hole so that I know where exactly this is going to fall. And I'm going to cover it up with a piece of scrap paper that I have from a previous card. So I'm going to make sure that this is nicely covered up so when you see through the window you see pink instead of black. Now I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back of my panel and I'm not going for a shaker card here, just a window card, but I really need to have enough support so that it doesn't sink where that uh, hole is. So now I'm going to use some foam scores at the back of my flowers and uh, I will also use some tape adhesive for the leaves and create my arrangement there. First I like to play around a little bit with my cutout images and then decide where everything is going to go. And for this card I'm not going to use a sentiment since it says love all over the place. So you can use it for anniversary card, for wedding card or even for a Valentine's Day. Now for this card I'm going to play again with patterned paper, so I have cut out a strip that is going to go on one side of my card base. This is where I noticed that you can put it upside down if you wish so, since uh, the words are uh, all over the place and uh, they, there is no up and down. Anyway, I'm going to apply some uh, tape adhesive, double sided tape, on one side of this uh, strip and then I'm going to make sure that this is nicely stuck there. I'm going to peel off the backing and then stick on top some gold foil boiling tape. Now this is a technique that I used before, but as I'm doing that, just uh, I want to apologize for all the noise that uh, you might listening to. Today is very hot here, it's about uh, 32 degrees, that's about uh, 89 Fahrenheit, and I have my windows open, and uh, you can probably listen to the planes uh, passing through, or uh, the neighbor mowing uh, the grass, or even the birds uh, chirping. So anyway, I am going to continue as normal. So all I did was using a die that uh, is cutting out hearts and uh, I have cut out two of those hearts out of uh, foiled, uh, gold foiled uh, cardstock and now all that's left to do is to stamp the sentiment. For that I'm going for a sentiment from the same stamp set that says forever and always which I'm going to stamp with Versa marking and then apply gold embossing powder and heat set it. And here I have another sparkling wedding card. And now let's move on to the next card for today where I will be using Distress Oxide ink that was included in the kit. I am working with the watercolor paper that was in the kit 
and probably can't tell already, but I have also stamped and white embossed the sentiment at the top of my panel that says let bliss begin and uh, the flower arrangement at the bottom of my panel. Now, all I did was working on my craft mat. I have smooshed a little bit of Distress Oxide ink, then applied water and then I have uh, applied the watercolor paper on top of that um, ink. Now I'm using my heat gun to make sure that everything is dry so that I can go ahead and apply a second layer. And as I fill in my card with the Distress Oxide ink, you will see that uh, both the sentiment as well as the stamped image will start to appear, although it was white on white in the beginning. If you do have more Distress Oxide inks at home, you can go ahead and uh, mix them up, but since that was the only one included in the kit, I decided not to go ahead and mix any other colors that I already have. So now all I did was uh, adding a little bit of ink directly with my blending tool over that um, detail at the bottom, and then I have added some splashes, water splashes, which I am now going to dab and hopefully you can see that I have actually removed color on where those splashes were. And I end up having this beautiful background for my card. So all I need to do now is to add a touch of um, white with a ribbon. I am going to tie a bow at the very bottom of my card. So I'm going to fight a little bit with my ribbon and then I'm going to use my scissors and uh, cut out the excess. And I'm just going to add a glue dot at the back of this bow so that it doesn't move. I'm using my ATG gun at the back to add some adhesive and then I'm going to stick that on top of one of my white card bases. And now for that finishing touch that I always like to add on my cards, I'm going to use my Nouveau Jewel Drops. And I'm going to use this to fill in some of uh, the images on my card. And uh, actually these Nouveau Jewel Drops are translucent, but they do have a tint of color. It's a great finishing touch for any card. And now let's create another gold foiled wedding card. I am going to use a piece of stick it, I am going to cover up my card front and this is actually going to turn the card front into a sticker, so that's just a double sided uh, adhesive. Now I am going to peel off the backing and I have a card front that is uh, full of adhesive now, I am going to use my bone folder over my gold foiling uh, there and then I am going to remove it and you will see that I have a beautiful coverage. Now I'm going to cut in size this uh, pattern paper and uh, this is going to have the same uh, height as my card but it's going to be a little smaller on uh, the width so that you can see strips of this uh, gold foiled uh, paper underneath. I am also going to go for a shaker card uh, now so I'm going to cut out a heart and uh, I'm going to just secure this die. This is a tonic die by the way. And you can see I have a beautiful heart shaped window there, which I have uh, backed up with acetate and now I'm going to go all over the heart as well as the panel and add some foam tape. Now I'm going to add some uh, gold uh, sequins. And by the way, the ones that I am using are, are totally flat. I have applied them directly on top of my card base and now I'm going to align my window. And my card is pretty much finished, all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. For the sentiment again, I used the word congratulations from the stamp set that I have uh, stamped and uh, gold embossed on black cardstock. And now I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly, I'm going to stick it down and my card is ready. And we have reached the last card for today, so for that I am going to cut out a little strip of this uh, black and white striped paper. I'm going to stick that at the very bottom of uh, my card base. 
And as you can see, I have already worked on top of uh, the last piece of uh, watercolor that I had left. I have stamped already that uh, flower arrangement as well as the word congrats congratulations again. And by the way, I have stamped everything with uh, black archival ink, which is um, permanent, so it's not going to smudge or smear. And you can stick that on top and have a beautiful, elegant black and white card. But if you want to take it a, just a step further, I am going to use the Distress Oxide ink from the kit and I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, color on my stamped image. I'm going for a very loose coloring here. I'm not going to pay any attention and deliberately I'm going to leave some white areas here and there. And as you can see, watercoloring with Distress Oxide inks works just as fine as uh, with Distress inks. Just keep in mind that the color that you will end up having is going to be more fade out than it looks in the beginning, since you are watering it down with water, and the uh, water actually oxidizes that uh, Distress Oxide ink. So you will end up having that chalky finish look. And to complete that watercolored look, I did add some splashes with the same color. Now I'm going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process. I have applied some tape adhesive at the back of my watercolor panel and then I'm going to stick that directly on top of my card base. And that completes the last card for today, so now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created using the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And here is a quick look on what's left in the box. Of course, I have the two ink pads and the stamp. I still have the envelope. Then uh, I do have a few scraps as well as uh, many full 6x6 papers that I haven't used at all. There is also a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to visit and enter your details for a chance to win this June card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you need more inspiration here are two more videos that I have created a while back. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time!